Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for from now until the end of September, so the 18th to the 30th. This is for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. If this reading doesn't resonate with you, if you're confused, or if you sit there and you say, no, 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 it's not for you. Keep in mind that every word that comes out of my mouth during this reading is part of the reading. So somebody may be hearing the word no during this time. I might get up and shut that fan off. I don't know. Ooh, you could be dealing with a Leo, but this would be... If you are dealing with a Leo, this Leo probably has an image problem or a self-image problem, or this could be you. I mean, this is lack of courage, lack of confidence, unable, and also holding on to something. So some, you could, this is not able to let go of something. So you may be holding on to something. There's lack of mental strength at this time, okay? Ooh, Taurus. So we have a Leo and a Taurus, but this is also um, lack of faith. So we have lack of courage, Lack of faith. Now, this is also lack of believing in oneself. You're not believing. You're not listening to your inner guide. But wanting to be happy. I just want to be happy. So this would be stepping outside of that ego. It would. This is letting go of ego. That's the meaning of the card. Letting go of ego because happiness matters most. Happiness is what matters the most at this point. Um, Seven of Swords Reverse. This is getting caught. Getting caught doing something. I don't know. This. I don't know if you've been involved in a third party situation. You could have. You could have been in. I mean, we have these two threes. Maybe with a Leo. I mean, I just did the Leo reading. And I think it was yesterday. And I could see that there was some... some outside influence okay and this could this would sign up this the, the, okay there's really a couple cheating cards in the deck and these are both cheating cards so I'm wondering if you are dealing with Leo or maybe even a Taurus I don't know somebody that was cheating and they get caught somebody could get caught cheating now this would be you sticking up for yourself defending yourself There's you stuck. This represents Pisces being stuck. Needy, resisting a change. Ooh, yeah, there's some, there's some lust here. Some lust. And then there's some regrets. So just hold on for a minute. I want to turn that fan off. Oh, that's pretty well focused, isn't it? Leave it like that. So, you may feel like... You're looking for some appreciation here. You're looking for togetherness. You're looking to work with somebody who's going to put in some effort. And you may have gotten yourself involved with a situation where you were doing all the work. All right, so I feel as though you may feel like you've been cheated, and maybe you have been cheated. Maybe you feel like you've been robbed, okay? Maybe, I mean, that's what this is. Maybe you feel like you've been robbed, and, and you've been holding on to a situation for some who knows what reason, and it feels as though it's time to, to face something, because that's what this is. You have, to, you have to face the struggle. The struggle is real. Okay, you got to face the struggle. Because you're in an unhappy situation. There's nothing to celebrate in this situation. Um, there's definitely some, some, some regrets with the Five of Cups. It's like the, the love is, is no longer there. The love has been, you know, it's dried up. The love is dried up. 
and that's that's sad that is sad but the love has dried up so somebody is is needing to just let go just let go of that third party situation or let go of of the love that they they thought they had you know what i mean just just drop it just drop it because there's an opportunity right here just just look at the new opportunity turn your head and look at the new opportunity um there is an uh a freedom here okay so this is removing something from your life it's taking back control with the devil reverse it's removing yourself from a toxic situation okay so you do that you do that out of out of self-respect okay so i feel as though you guys are probably you might be catching somebody cheating and that's what it looks like to me i mean that's what it looks like to me i think that you may have caught somebody with another person or you've received some sort of information or something like that and perhaps that's the information that you need that gets you unstuck you know that could certainly be the case because this is getting unstuck it's breaking that bond it's like I, I'm cutting that bond okay um, there's definitely some inner conflict here with this five of cups I think you're beginning to realize the truth. You're beginning to realize the truth about some emotional connection that you had. Um, if something was unrealistic, that's what this is. Something, Somebody was involved hanging on to something that was dissatisfying and unrealistic. Not listening to their inner guide, not finding the courage and the confidence. And this is a huge card of ego. It represents Leo, but it is. It's a huge card. To, card of, so this is letting go of ego. This is letting go of ego, and this is letting go of ego because this is reverse. So I'm thinking that you guys are, it's like, I just want to be happy. I, you know, and that's where I think you guys are at. I feel like you guys are not wanting to invest anymore in a, insecure situation this is insecurity a fault you know and, and I think that you guys are you've been you've been probably gambling you know gambling with a choice that you had to make you've been going back and forth it's like flip a coin what am I gonna do which way am I gonna go heads or tails who's it's gonna be um You've definitely, you're, you're definitely in the place where you need to make a decision. You need to make a choice between two. <laughs> you do. You need to make a choice between two. And it feels as though it ain't pretty. It's not pretty. Um, this is undesirable communication. It is. It's, it's, you may have received some news that hurt. You may have received a message about somebody that you don't appreciate, you know, and that is what you need to let something in, make something in, because this is the death of an idea. You're dealing with an untrustworthy individual. One of the people that you are dealing with is not trustworthy. Um... They have a victim mentality. Um, it was an unrealistic connection. It looks as though you have regrets here with this Five of Cups. And you have another opportunity still waiting for you. After you free yourself from this toxic situation, even if it's undesirable, you know. There's, there's this hangman. Is, is change, you're gonna ha there's, there's a struggle. You're going to have to face a struggle. To find your happiness. That's what this is. And it ain't going to be pretty with these two cards. It's like. Now this is also like observation. This is stalking. I think that you may have found out that somebody was cheating on you. Or had another partner. Or something like that. You know something like that. There's that. I mean you got to look at what's mirroring each other. Okay we got these two mirroring each other. Okay so I'm not sure if you were dealing with a Leo. And they were cheating or, you know, and then these two are, this is, this is a cheating card. And it, I, I don't know. I don't know. 
but it feels as though you may have wanted a commitment with somebody and the person that you were with um, lied, you know, because these are lies. They lied. They didn't, they weren't really committed. I don't freaking know. Um, if you aren't dealing with a Leo, it could be any other sign. It could be any sign. I feel like at this point you're like, you know what? I don't I don't care anymore. I don't care. I really don't care. I just want to be happy. And that's what I see. I see that you guys are not You just want to be appreciated. You just want to be appreciated for all the effort that you put in. That's what it looks like to me. Yep. Now we have this lesson that still hasn't been learned. <laughs> Because the world is reversed. <coughs> the world is the last card. So it's a major completion. It means a major lesson has been learned. Unfortunately, there's closure that is still needed in one situation. It means there's lack of closure. You can't move on to the next successful operation, the next successful project, the next successful partnership until closure has happened in one situation. That's what this is. Now, this is communication, this is compromise, but this is closure is still needed, even if it isn't going to be easy. You have to remove some obstacles that are in the way of your happiness. There's obstacles, and there's lies. This is lies and obstacles in the way. Somebody is not speaking the truth. This is untrustworthy. Somebody's not speaking the truth when the truth needs to come out so that you can complete a cycle and move on to the next one towards success. You cannot have success until closure is is has happened. And that is the truth. You can can you continue to get you will continue to get into karmic situations until you do. I'm just saying. This is a this is a dead end situation. This is a dead end situation over here. It was it was never going to be what you wanted it to be. Because there was no it was an impulsive situation. There was no real action going to be taken. There was no growth going to come out of it. There this was like all Oh, what's the word for it? Flighty. You know what I mean? There was no substance to it. None. So I think that you guys engaged yourself in a situation that was very unstable and insecure. Okay, it was. And you may have invested. You may have you may have lost some money in this situation. You may have invested some some money. You may have lost some money in this situation. And then, and then your heart starts to get involved, and then you get, you figure out, you find out that there's no, nothing to celebrate here. I feel like you've been used. <laughs> I do. I feel like you have been used by somebody. Um, <laughs> and now, and now you're hurt. I think somebody has really hurt you really bad. Um, because they don't have any follow through. I think you were dealing, it could be a fire sign or a water sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I think this is you hurt over this person who used you. I think that you have been used by another person that had no follow through. It was sexual. It really was. It was. It was sexual. And there's, we have that lust. I think that you guys are freeing yourself because with the devil reversed is, is breaking that bond, breaking them, the chains or breaking the connection with somebody that had no, oh God, follow through for their actions. I mean, they just, no plan, you know, they can't, they can't keep their promises. They don't have enough energy to keep their promises, okay? This person, I mean, it's just like they, they uh, no ambition, okay? I think that you were dealing with somebody who just didn't want to put in any effort at all. And, that, and you have a lot of flair, you do. I feel like you... 
we're probably being controlled by another person. I mean, that's what this is. And I think whoever you were dealing with probably, I mean, this is very sexual. It was all sexual. There's sexual. It's sexual. It's just, there's no commitment here. So I feel like you're dealing with a sexual situation in which there's this person, whoever you're dealing with, they have no skills of organization. You know what I mean? They have no structure. They're just a complete mess. A complete mess. They have no... Um, no ability to take anything to completion. You know what I'm trying to say? They can't be the boss. They don't even know how to be a boss. So I feel as though you may be angry. You may be angry at this time. Or this person that you're dealing with may be angry with you that they got caught. So I think that there's been some, 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 you know, there's been some, some, some elsewhere. And I feel as though it definitely a third party situation here in the mix. And I honestly, I don't think it was you. I don't think it was you. I think it's the other person. I think that you are dealing with somebody who thought they had everything under control. They thought that they could fool you. You know, they thought that... You weren't smart enough. They thought that they were in complete control. They thought that <laughs> you were the fool. But in all in all reality, I think that they were the fool because I think that you have you have figured them right out. So I think that you are dealing with I think it's a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius that has been caught with the pants down. I'm sorry. Could be any other sign, but could be a water sign but either way i feel like you guys are emotional over this situation i feel like you are hurt i feel like you may be a little depressed and you probably have some regrets maybe you chose the wrong opportunity You did, because this opportunity is sitting up over here, upright. But she has the three of cups, the one of the three in her hand. Somebody didn't put in enough effort. Somebody didn't work hard enough. They were bossy and controlling and wanted you to do all the work. to keep the relationship going. And I feel as though you know there's there's more. You know there's something better. And I and with this this 3 of wands, it's like you realize, you realize that you've come to some realization that there's a there's a better opportunity out there for you with this and this. You, I think that you have come to that realization. That there's a better opportunity for you. But with this world card, remember that some lesson still hasn't been learned. Something still needs closure. There was an obstacle. And maybe this was an obstacle. I don't know. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. But this is also another card of ego. And it is upright. But there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. With love. Because he's got one cup in his hand. But this is about realizing what you want in your future and making an offer so I do believe that there is another opportunity for this is the knight of cups this is this is going to make an offer so this is either somebody offering you love or you offering somebody love there is an opportunity here for wish fulfillment in the future that's what this is in love this is, this is uh, relationship growth, wanting more, wanting that real love, going after your dreams. But this is also about following through with your wishes, like going for your dreams for real. 
will lead to victory and success. This is victory and success. But this is about you holding your head up high, finding the confidence. This is a card of confidence to, to move forward. But still, this damn world card is reversed. It's not flipped around yet. Um, this is about something isn't over yet. Something isn't over yet. This card has to be flipped upright for it to be over. And this may be needing to go back because this is going back. I don't freaking know. But there's some competition now. This is some competition. And you're probably at a... You know, you're probably going back and forth with it yourself. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. Um, we do have the three fives. So fives are power struggles. Five, five, five. Power struggles. Life choices. Divinely guided major life changes. Expect the unexpected. So I feel as though there is some sort of change that is happening. Because it's time for a major change in your life. Let go of the old and bring in the new. That's what 555 is. It's a time of personal freedom. Whatever this is, when you see 555, it's major. It means, when you see 555 on a license plate, a receipt, anything, it means that you're about to go through a major change. And it's based on the choices that you make. You, may, you better make the right choice because there's consequences for the choices that you make. You know what I mean? So I feel as though... You are about to be presented with a choice, okay? And the choice that you make is going to propel you in the direction that is going to shape your life for the next what? for the next phase, for the next cycle, you know what I mean? However long that is, however long that cycle, the next lesson, because this is a lesson. But there's definitely some hurt here. There's some heartache. Definitely. I mean, this is hurt, 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 hurt. So I feel as though you guys are probably going to be dealing with some, some major hurt. And it could even be rejection. It could be rejection. Maybe you have been rejected um, by somebody. Because I do see that there's there could definitely be some cheating here. Um, and there's definitely regrets. These are both cards of regrets. So I'm not sure. There may be regrets over not putting in enough effort to make something grow. I don't know. I don't know. There's definitely regrets, but there is an opportunity for love here. But this is freedom. This is liberation. And there's a lot of personal freedom here with the 555, the devil, and and this. So it looks like you guys are about to be freed from a toxic situation a sit or a situation that has held you back from wish fulfillment. I see that you guys are going to be freed from something that has held you back from, from happiness. Because it's time for you guys to be happy. I mean, like I started this out. It is. It is. It's time for you guys to be happy. So I feel like if you guys have been through a big, big struggle, a huge struggle, that there may be something unexpectedly could happen that allows you to be freed from this struggle. Allows you to move on to happiness. 
and a better, new, passionate opportunity. Okay? So I feel as though you are headed in a much better direction. You are. You are. Away from deceit. Away from the power struggles. Away from being controlled. Away from being used. And into what? Oh my God, you see that sucker fly right out? To getting your power back. I mean, this is fantastic. Oneness. Success. Being back in control of your own destiny. So I feel like you guys are about to get your power back. Somehow, unexpectedly, life is going to change for the better. That's what I see. There's been some serious struggles here, but I think that I think they're over. I think the universe has your back. I really do. It may hurt at first whenever this whatever this is comes out. It may hurt. It's going to hurt with that 3 of swords. Okay, it's going to hurt. It is going to hurt. Or it does hurt right now. It hurts. Whatever. There's hurt. There is definitely some hurt here. But in the long run, it's going to make you much 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 happier. It really is. Um, do I see new love? Uh, per perhaps, perhaps in the future. Yes, definitely. Um, but I also see that closure is needed in a situation. And I feel like that whatever's going to happen is going to flip this card around so that you get the closure that you need. Oh my God. Oh. So, uh, Taurus got this card too. I believe they did. I don't know if they, I, I, I don't know. I know that I, I'm pretty sure. I know that I got that card. I don't know. I think that Taurus got it. In the flow. Or I saw it on another reading. I don't know. I know that I've seen that card a few times. Let go of the shore. Enter the flow. You're moving into a period of gracious ease and flow. All is, is unfolding perfectly and with good timing. Everything is falling into place because you aren't resisting the drift of the great river of life. Enjoy the ride. This isn't the time to try to control the events in your life. Let the Creator support you. You don't have to do it all yourself. The glory of the universe flows through you. You remember I said the universe has your back? It's funny, I said it before this card came out. It's true, the universe has your back. Something is ending. And it might hurt. But it is going to make you very free. But anyway. It's not always easy to let go of the shore. However... This card is urging you to take a risk and let go. When you are truly in the flow, you don't need to push or exert effort to make things happen. You can flow around any obstacle. If there is a situation in your life that's falling into place, that isn't falling into place, let it go. It's not the right time. When you're in a state of flow, you aren't pushing the river to go faster and you aren't swimming against it. You're just letting it be. You just enjoy the ride. If you aren't feeling the smooth current of your life, it might mean that you're trying to control a situation in your life. If you're being self-critical or judgmental, I have some right here. you must enjoy the ride. If you aren't feeling the smooth current of your life, you, it might mean that you're trying to control situations in your life or you're being self-critical or judgmental. The way to move into flow is through gratitude and appreciation and by allowing others and spirit to support and help you. 
everything is happening for a reason. That's basically what it's saying. It's happening to bring you the success that you that you deserve. Okay, these are both cards of success. To, to allow you the happiness to come into your life. So I feel like you are, may experience a... some sort of hurtful situation that allows you to free yourself and take back your power. That's what I got. Talk to you later.